Hi guys, it's Rhonda and Nelly, and I'm spending some time with Nelly now that she is here at our house, and we are going to show you how to make a little tea cozy. I saw this um, on Doll Diaries, and I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. Um, Karen um, showed us instructions, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get your little teapot, and we happen to have a little princess one here. You're just going to put some paper behind your your teapot and then you're going to want to draw an outline. Um, actually I laid this down so it would fit perfectly in the little trace mark that I did there. And then once you have your pattern you're going to cut out a piece of felt or fabric, anything that you want and then you can either sew it together or glue it together and then decorate the outside. So this is what Nellie and I are going to do and we have chosen a piece of felt that looks like this because it's really pretty and colorful and we're going to go ahead and cover this teapot in that fabric. We'll be right back. Alright and so with um, good sides together I am already sewed this around just traced it out did a quick stitch and now I'm going to turn it right side out and round if I can just work the little edges. So you see with felt, it's I, I opted for felt because um, there wasn't going to be any hemming. It was just a very quick project and it, it's very stable. You see it stands up on its own. Alright and so here the little teacup, I'm sorry the teapot is inside the tea cozy and it for sure fits so um, it's a nice snug fit. So now what Nellie and I are going to do is just kind of embellish the outside and put some little decorative trims and uh, maybe some buttons and things. So we'll show you the finish, finished product when we're done. Here is our completed tea cozy. We just put a little bit of trim on the bottom and Nellie wanted to add some little buttons to the flowers. How cute is that? and then just a little ribbon on top and it fits our teapot nice and snug keeps everything nice and warm and keeps it from getting dusty so this is a really cute craft simple easy um, you can be as creative as you like and I also want to show you something else we've been talking a lot about cakes and I have another quick tutorial on cakes um, this uses just basic sponges, the very porous kind, the ones that look like actual sponge cake. And what you're going to do, I used one sponge and you're going to cut it in half and then you're going to measure a circle. I used actually um, a very large vitamin bottle from some vitamins that we have and I just traced around it and it gave me this size. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, glue with hot glue the top layer to the bottom layer and then I'm going to cut out a little slice from the top and then I'm going to paint the entire thing with puff paint. You know how I love the, the gloss 3D puff paint? I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do that to the, the slice that I cut out as well. Do some little decorations on the top and then we will have a little cake to join with our little tea party and I'll be back quickly to show you what Nellie and I have done with just a very basic yellow sponge. Alright guys and before I show you the cake I just wanted to say quickly if you have some foam sheets laying around you can uh, use your cookie cutters and as a guide and go ahead and cut out different shaped cookies. This happens to be a pumpkin and just layer your foam sheet so that you have decorative tea cookies um, for holidays and all that and then if you just glue them on there you can also write on there um, anything you want you can keep layering with different colors just keep piling it up and serve these at your tea table and um, again just use your your cookie cutters that have flowers, stars, gingerbread men, pumpkins, hearts, anything you have laying around and those make great little cookies for your dolls. And so Nellie is ready to snack on her little sponge cake and we have our little tea cozy there. So again I just used the puff paint 
and cut out a little section as you can see for her slice and then just decorated the top with a little bit of swirls everything is the puff paint and it looks delicious so this is something that um, you can do on a weekend like I say it's a really quick project but it's something fun to do with and for your dolls so thanks for watching talk to you later bye